guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to dedicate this uh general tarween for the group icon uh i know i think that yesterday i saw their new mv um i loved the song definitely loved the vibe the sounds so uh, i was really excited uh to listen to them again um so yes uh this tarween is going to be dedicated to them i know there were a lot of people that actually wanted me to read for them to do some kind of update so here it is so let's see the cards that they got they got the ten of pentacles the eight of wands the five of pentacles um the the devil and the moon card so yeah i think that Honestly, this 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 ten of pentacles is like um, a very like faithful representation of finally like seeing results, you know, in their work and actually like being very connected with the rest of the community. And I think that since we are talking about um, them working, you know, as artists, probably this has to do with them having like this very active role in the company you know like probably like um like hanging out with with staff or with other yg artists more often so there's this sense of like belonging you know like being taken into consideration for example if there's some some new plans or something to be done that it has to do with the company's image or with some kind of a schedule, they are included, you know, there's a sense of feeling like you belong, you know, and also like feeling also that they contribute somehow to the prosperity of the company, you know, so because we are talking about pentacles, there's a sense of fulfillment, you know, the 10, the ten of pentacles, it's, it's about, you know, like, rejo like joining uh, efforts and, and, and resources and also celebrating that you have the Ten of Pentacles energy, you know, that you have, that you are abundant and that somehow you are celebrating with others. So, you know, I think that there's something about them actually like being able to to be in this community that I guess that it could represent YG um, enterprise uh, and there's something about you know like probably the artist being more in communication you know there's something like them going back to their roots or probably like hanging out and sharing ideas or projects with other people from the company you know not just icon the members you know also with others so there's this sense of like okay we are like also creating opportunities for ourselves the company and other artists as well um then we have the eight um the eight of wands so there's this sense in them like you know because um the the ten of pentacles it's very abundant energy you know it's it's feeling feeling full you know like when you are like okay yes we made it like this was successful we saw the results we were able to see that uh, uh all our efforts paid off you know um but there's also the sense of here with the eight of ones this feeling of being in a hurry you know so i think that probably there's this sense of like okay let's take as many opportunities as we can because we are afraid that these opportunities are going to disappear if we don't act or react quickly you know so there's also this this fear of losing you know like i really need to worry or i really need to act um very quickly because sometimes somehow i fear that these opportunities could disappear or that this abundance or this feeling of belonging to a community a very stable community a very prosperous community somehow 
is going to be uh, gone by tomorrow. You know, something something like that. I don't know what is it. Uh, definitely, I, you know, from, from the cards that I'm seeing, we start with the energy very, ab very abundant, very prosperous, and somehow we are entering a bit of the unconscious fears and insecurities and i was actually like a bit like disappointed you know when i when i pulled the cars because i was excited for the cars that were coming out and then when i when i pulled the the the, the rest of them i was like oh my god this like you know like the energy went a bit low like all of a sudden it started to get a bit block you know like it shows definitely a few blockages but like I always tell people when I read tarot because it's not just about you know like uh, saying something just to say it I want also people to learn from the tarot and to learn their messages and to also open their perception for you that you are the one watching that you can also exercise your own perception you know this is why I always ask the fans very kindly if you can give me a feedback or your perception or your experience because I learn a lot about this and like I always mention don't be afraid of the cards you know like uh, destiny and faith are, is always changing we are always on the move so nothing is eternal you know it's just, this is just a tarot reading so what I see here is a lot of challenges to to go through you know um we have the five of cups in the middle of the reading so there's this fear of losing you know and i think that probably this doesn't have to do with what they are going through right now because we started the reading with a very prosperous card that is the ten of pentacles so definitely the resources are there, um, the support is there, the support like feeling like you belong to a certain community. So probably they do are, you know, probably in a more fluent uh, interaction and also communication with other YT artists. So there's this sense of, okay, like we are like, we are being guided to be successful, but we are also celebrating in a group you know in uh, trying to recover the feeling of a sort of family you know um but somehow i think that there's something about icons energy that i was like yes these cars that came out here actually they don't have much to do with what could potentially happen in the future it has more to do with how they feel about themselves and the identity of the group that I think that this is something that definitely since I will have like two major arcanas that are very deep uh, I think that there's a lot of lessons that they need to learn and also there's a lot of things that they need to bring to awareness you know um like there's no denial anymore you know i think that there's something here that they have to treat that they have to pay attention to um starting with the with with this five of five of cups here in in the middle of the reading there's this fear of losing actually there's this sense that they already lost a lot in the past so I think that even though the group came back stronger and better and they, they were able to somehow rebuild their image, there's a wound in there. There's also this, it's as if, as if the, the members were in this sort of grief period that is not entirely over you know and i think that if we if we focus on the energy of the devil card and the moon 
there's like a resistance to let go of things that happened to us in a past, you know. So there's this sense of like, yes, I know we went through a lot and I know that it went, it happened a long time ago. But it seems that in the now, in the present, there's a sense of I'm still carrying this loss with me. And it somehow affects or influences the way I see myself. So even though at the beginning they they are getting the recognition, they are celebrating, they are seeing the pentacles, they are seeing the money, they are being abundant, there's a sense of anxiety. You know, like, okay, like, oh, we are going through something positive right now. So, you know, we have to enjoy as much as we can because we don't know when this will disappear. You know, there's a sense of them actually feeling like they don't deserve something good happen to them. You know, for example, recognition or awards or any kind of winning. You know, there's a sense of we don't deserve to win. You know, there, there's a sense of there, there's this, this feeling of being pessimistic. And also of caring, yes, this pessimist attitude of, oh yes, we did great, but, you know, it, 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 it wasn't like we thought we would, or we should have done more, or we should uh, have done things differently. There's a lot of regret. This is why I feel like they are, something marked them in the past that somehow it's hard for them now in the present to celebrate themselves, to congratulate themselves. Even though they try, because I we started with very positive uh, cards, and actually I see that they have the support of, of people in their company as well. You know, they are not alone. Um, like, they are very loved, and they... They do have a strong system of support. They have the fans. They have probably they have their families. So they somehow are stable kids. Like I'm sorry saying kids. They are adults. I'm sorry. They are stable people. It's just that for them there's like this very strong reaction to I don't feel I'm good enough. So they tend to sabotage themselves a lot. Or they tend to, you know, instead of showing a bit more of pride and an attitude of, of like, I am the best, you know, like there's this sense of like, you know, the imposter syndrome, uh, syndrome, yes, the imposter syndrome, like, we are great, but I don't believe that I'm great. And I think that this is something that, that the tarot is like letting me know that they would probably will be dealing with this feeling for a while because we end the reading with the devil and the moon card. So um, definitely they need to have a better communication. There's something here with the devil and the moon card that it's about the unknown. You know, it's about having this very strong attachment possibly to something that happened in the past that they are all going, they are all affected by this. But they don't talk to each other about how, how serious this was, you know. Probably they they understand that they are in a new era. They understand that they are different people now. But somehow the feeling of 
being a sort of loser. I don't, I don't know why, but you know, since the Five of Cups is about a loss, you know, there's a sense of oh, we are losers. You know, so there's something very deep about them not not being able to appreciate their their winnings. You know, their it's like they don't see it. And I think that there's something also here like that they they have a lot of things that they have to work on themselves about this. It's just that probably they don't talk to each other or with each other about how somehow how things were really traumatic for them and how maybe yes they kept going or they they kept going as a group but there was this fear all the time you know there was this sense of feeling threatened or feeling like oh yes we have to keep going because yes we have to keep going because you know the devil is also a card about being ambitious and i'm not saying that this actually is about them being ambitious and being like okay we have to keep going i think that it also has to do with probably other people's ambitious nature you know the devil the devil card it's the card of capricorn and i i believe that yg uh is a capricorn so i think that there's this sense of you know that that when you are in yg he probably his speech to the artist or to the people that are starting uh, is about showing ambition you know so there was like probably the guys kept going but they didn't resolve their internal issues you know their their the part in them that somehow broke you know so there's there's this feeling of like okay i had to somehow keep going because there's a sense of attachment there's this sense of i cannot get out of this situation like i have to keep going because i cannot resign you know there's this sense of like i have to keep going because i'm tied to this but somehow i feel very vulnerable I feel very anxious, I am scared, I am afraid, I fear the future. And somehow I feel like I cannot say anything because there's no one that I can talk about this. So I don't know if maybe because of ambitious people there were like a lot of like manipulation in the middle you know for them to make decisions that actually they weren't that that at that moment they took it because they they just wanted to be responsible and they, they didn't know you know they didn't know what to do best so they kept going and they ignored the the feelings you know and also thinking about you know like i mentioned the devil car representing capricorn you know, every time we talk about icon, I always talk about how there's a lot of also Capricorn energy in icon. You know, because we have uh, two members that are Aquariuses, but they have Moon in Capricorn. Also, I believe that um, that Juno also is an Aries, but he also has a Moon in Capricorn. Uh, Bobby is a Venus and Mars in Capricorn. Um, DK is a Capricorn, and yes, the only one is is Song. That Song is an Aquarius with the Moon in 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 Taurus, but also Earth Earth element. You know, so there's this sense of like, okay, like we don't have another way out but to keep working. You know, like to keep going, keep going, keep going. You know, and keep trying to climb the letter the the letter and be and being better and being better and better and better but somehow there's this huge void inside of them there's a lot of uncertainty there's a lot of fear you know and i think that this is something very personal actually it's not 
it's I think that it's not it's not about you know because probably people that are watching this I'm, I'm like but how is this going to affect their careers I think that it's important for them to start like doing some inner work with themselves you know these guys have some kind of anguish inside of them you know there's this kind of hurt you know and and this has been happening for quite a while i don't know if maybe this feeling of you know of being very insecure i don't know what happened that it was so traumatic i know that one of the members um uh left i know upon hambin i know but i think that this is also before hambin you know i i think that this is it it it's all of course that it's all like um an accumulation of things but i think that these guys felt this sort of like very like pressure to be to be like somehow they were brainwashed to keep going you know to be ambitious and keep going and and don't listen to others and just like don't um like don't feel don't overthink like just go and work and get the job done and that's it you know so there's this like somehow pushing them to be cold and to not connect with their own desires so maybe it's also about their debut i don't know if maybe if you are a fan if you can actually like um maybe you can actually guide me a bit about their history because i don't know much i know they participated in a sort of like survival kind of show or competition but there's a sense that they there's had always been this fear of losing like you know like being uh somehow like not being a winner you know like somehow being someone's second choice or someone's backup plan so this affected them in their in their self esteem or their self image as a strong group definitely they are successful because we start with the 10 of of pentacles so they are capable of having success they are capable of also like you know like building some stable uh a stable recognition and success but there's something about them actually not not feeling like they are worth it so like they deserve these these things that they are gaining so it's like you know like they could be like more ostentatious if they wanted to you know a bit more cocky if they wanted to but somehow they are just they have they they fear they have fears they have like this like feeling that you are not good enough in comparison to the others you know feeling feeling like that so that's that's something that actually they do need to work because i feel like there could be like good opportunities coming uh their way but somehow them not be sure about taking them because they don't feel they don't feel like they're ready you know there's a sense of like oh yes we should do this and this and this you know and, and probably be like oh no maybe we need more time to think about it you know somehow you know the imposter sin the imposter syndrome you know like like when you're doing great and somehow you're getting you know the the attention and everything and you're like oh no no we we yeah we rather not participate on that or no we don't want to take the deal or no i don't think we're going to do this you know like somehow like sabotage sabotaging their their opportunities you know so they do need to work on that but like i mentioned these cards are very personal so probably these don't reflect like um on their actions it's more what's going on inside of them 
but obviously this has to do with the identity of the group you know it's it's, it's not something that they they themselves as individuals feel they feel like this when it comes to the group so yes guys i hope that it made sense actually but but yes um i will see you uh in my next video so thank you so much for the people that recommended this um so yes bye